Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showroom and today we're going to learn how to put the strap on our DSLR camera. A lot of us have received new DSLRs and we're now getting into the world of advanced photography instead of working with our phones, but we want to be able to put the strap on correctly so that we protect this investment. So I'm going to show you how simple it is to actually put this on. All right, so we're going to make sure that this is lined up properly because you need this to be flat. You don't want this to be twisting around, then it becomes really cumbersome. Notice how the logo, which says Canon, that has to be on the top. So this portion right here, you have to be able to see as the camera hangs on the side. This way it means that you put it on there correctly and that you're not going to have any issues with it twisting excessively. Now we have the side loop, feed it through best to do it from underneath so this way you have easier way to work with it now you're going to put it into this little clip feed it through the clip straight remember we don't want to twist this at any moment and then we're going to use a little belt loop give it some room notice how you have extra room there now this allows you to feed it underneath again not twisting you want to maintain this nice and straight and we're going to feed it back into the second portion of the loop. Yes, it feels cumbersome, but guess what? You only have to do this once, but you want to do it right. So, now you feed it underneath and pull on it to get rid of some slack. And then pull on here. So, there you go. And then you can close this up closer to the loop. But notice that now you have a very secure connection. And all you have to do is make sure that you keep this straight and you do the same thing on the other side. And you want to make sure that you follow the same instructions. So we're going to feed it underneath, pull up on it, feed it to the little guide. And again, we do the same procedure with the little loop on this side and all in all always making sure that it's nice and straight you don't want to ever twist this around because then it becomes an issue later on feed it through pull on it and then you have again another secure connection so this way your camera is going to be with you at all times and you don't run into any mishaps so if this video was helpful to you Click the like button underneath and remember to subscribe to our channel. Happy shooting!